Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to this FS22 map tour video. In this video we stroll around the new Goldcrest Valley 22. Yes, the Goldcrest Valley from FS17 has found its way to FS22 and it was made by the modder Celobuki and this is a different modder than the modder that um, brought Goldcrest Valley to FS19. Yeah, so let's see what he did with this old map. Goldcrest Valley was the first map uh, on which I played my first farm sim and therefore I have uh, rather strong feelings for Goldcrest Valley. I enjoyed playing it and it was so hard for me to drive. I had to learn it very slowly because I'm not good <laughs> at um, learning such things fast. I, When it has something to do with computer and programming I learn rather fast but driving not. <laughs> Yeah, and so I have a lot of um, things that I remember from this time and nostalgic feelings. Here we are at the new Goldcrest Valley and the coloration is so different. The old Goldcrest Valley, I remember it a little bit grayish, so the overall tint was more muted and this is green and lush and yeah happy and here my favorite house from uh, Elm Creek as a farmhouse and I think a lot of people like this house the best in Elm Creek yeah, it's everybody's favorite, I guess. Yeah, and changed to be a farmhouse, that's good. And the pickup, oh, and here we have the sheds. And they are uh, sheds from Elm Creek. So you can see from the start, um, the modern didn't convert the old buildings to this old map, but he used buildings from Elm Creek and put it on the on the old Goldcrest Valley. And therefore it has not only from the color a fresh touch, but the buildings are fresh and new as well. And okay, but uh, those sheds are not fresh and new <laughs> but they are not FS17 from their textures but they are um, got uh, Elm Creek FS22 buildings and they look old and used what they should look and but they are modern from the game version and here we have the workshop yeah, in FS19 we had drive-through sheds. At least part of this um, shed was uh, drive-through and that helped me a lot because I had massive problems with driving backward. Not not so much driving backward, but driving backward with, with a trailer. And I still have problems and I still get laughed <laughs> at uh, because of this but um, yeah in FS17 it was terrible for me really really terrible and I was so happy that I could drive through here in this area and I had all my um, my machines lined up here and there was a drive-through shed as well and I used it a lot. So you can see I get really nostalgic and uh, speak about the past, the long ago past from FS17. And here are 
chickens. And it looks modern but different to the um, usual chicken coop that we have. Yeah, I like this mixture of modern and maybe old and different and yeah, how much chicken can we have? 150? Okay, you can work with 150 a chicken. But they don't make you rich. Mm, 500 would be better, but I think the size of this chicken coop would be okay for 500, but yeah, that would be very strong somehow. It too, too much for this little hut in the night. And this looks like all the standard equipment. Yeah. In here this meadow with trees. Oh, I learned to use the the chainsaw on this meadow and then I learned to use the plow to make a new field because I transformed this to a grass field. I transformed. <laughs> it was funny. So I started with FS17 and because I was always looking for peaceful games and before I played a lot of Sims 4 and but yes I was uh, on the lookout for other peaceful games without fighting and then um, farming was a good idea I thought oh that's a good game for me. I try this out because farming is peaceful. And then I had a very hard time with driving, as I already said. And I didn't knew anything about this game. And the tutorial was okay. I made it here with the um, harvesting and there the cultivating and so this worked rather fine for me and then I searched the internet for the YouTube internet for tips for FS17 and I found a video getting rich the best way to get rich fast something like that and there they proposed to uh, switch the whole farm to a silage producing farm and then do this for a while for some days and then you have enough money to buy more equipment and so on. And as far as I remember uh, you had less money in FS17. And so I thought okay yeah that's a good idea. And we had this barn here. Not this but this is wonderful on this place. It was a red barn like this and a drive-through barn and I always drove through and then there, here you could, I guess you could store your hay or so and my trailer uh, hooked inside and jumped <laughs> around because it was too high for the inside like it would be here and then here you could sell your silage so I drove through and then I unloaded the silage and I transformed all fields to grass fields and this in the middle I uh, transformed to a field because I already liked the helpers a lot and so I did everything to make it as helper friendly as possible and then I had four fields that I could um, mow nearly every day and then it was a big mowing in the morning with a big wind rower and then uh, first I had a normal baler without the possibility to wrap and therefore I needed an additional wrapper. We still have it in in FS22 such an additional wrapper. 
here is I think this is yeah this can only produce bales and not wrap and so such or such such a baler I had and then oh where is the bale wrapper bale wrapper oh. something like this yeah and this I could use the um, pickup for this because it was very easy to use and that was quite fast <laughs> and I didn't need to buy an additional tractor and I already bought from every money I bought tractors and tractors and tractors to have a tractor at every single machine that I had and in the end I had six or seven tractors and I was happy with it and yeah then we had the oh we don't have it anymore the small one not this huge Anderson but the the, um, the Ursus bale loader with eight bales and this was okay and then I heard that there was a DLC where you get um, a bale baler wrapper combination. I think it was a Kuhn DLC. And I thought, okay, do I really need to buy a DLC only for this machine? And then I thought, oh, you will sa would save so much time. And then it was the first DLC that I bought for only one machine. It had 10 or 15 machines, but I only needed this one baler and then I loved it and I used it every day. Yeah, and, and, maybe you remember how much you got for one silage bale. 500, 5,800 bucks. I played on simple, yes, and 5,800 bucks. That have been times when we were all young, not so long ago. <laughs> and here we have a multi-fruit silo. So this is not a standard silo, but it is from from Elm Creek and this um, this pipe originates from FS19 and I modified it exactly like that so that I didn't need to use a texture from FS19 but I could use it only as a gray color and and a metallic look in the specular and this looks exactly like the one that I modified and it's very practical because you save slots you don't need an extra texture for this yeah and the original has some black parts but I thought like this only metal is good and you save slots and this model obviously did the same. Okay, that is mo more or less the farm. And here we had a shed, a drive-through shed. And uh, I can see the train. Oh, and let's let's have a look at the map. Now it's time for the map. Yeah. Here it is, Goldcrest Valley. And the train has changed. So here it is now like the train is in FS22. So it has an end here and an end here. And it doesn't circle around in the map. In Goldcrest Valley from FS17 we had two different train circles, one here and one here. And then in the middle there was a huge train station where you could switch from one, the 
switch your wheat and stuff from one train to the other uh, in a huge train silo. Do we have a silo here? No. Here we have the bale sail point now. Okay, yeah, this is important, a bale sail, sail point. But I'm sure we don't get the same amount of money than in FS17. But then we had less money in the beginning, so somehow, yeah, something is better and something is worse, like life. Yeah, and here this goes to Elmkrieg. Okay, yeah, this is quite modern. And before we had in FS17, there was a grain mill and you could could reach it only by train and this always had the best prices and so because I only had very few money I sold all the stuff that was in the silo so we didn't have no, much money but we had a full silo and I brought all this here to the train station and then I drove to with the train to this um, grain mill and sold everything and from this money I could buy a baler. Yeah, and my odyssey to earn a lot of money started. And here is what? Selling wood train. Okay. Yeah, and here we can rent the train and let's see what we own and how the prices are. So here we own all this and here I think there was a sheep farm and here is the cow farm and we have another field. It should be grassland I would say. So grass was, would be useful so close to the uh, the cows. It is grass, so very good. I think we didn't hit uh, this field, but this is really good. You can you can harvest the grass and maybe there is a silo as well, um, bunker silo, and then you can prepare the food for the cows and you can live with your cows just in this area. Later we go there and here is the shop like it was before and I see several productions and they are all the modern productions from FS22. So this is really a mixture from the with from the old Goldcrest Valley and new assets. Yeah, I like it. Okay, maybe we... Oh, oh, the prices. I wanted to see the prices. So this would be 73,000. Well, that's okay. A small one, 39. That's good. As far as I remember, I had to pay something like 70,000 for this one. And this here, oh, more expensive. It's huge. 346. And this is even bigger. Yeah. It doesn't have uh, so many, doesn't have so many fields. But for my pl play style, this is more than enough because I always play slowly <laughs> and therefore uh, I don't need so many fields. Yeah, let's drive around and take the terrible pickup it gave me a nervous breakdown then when I try <laughs> I was so silly then I thought okay before I go to the tractor I try to drive around in the pickup because this is more like the car I'm used to drive and 
then it was so terrible I couldn't drive at all and when I only have the key keyboard to to drive I still have massive problems um, but yeah I figured out how to use the mouse for s f uh, for steering at least when I'm faster than five kilometers per hour and like this it works and the tractors are much more easy for me because they are slower yeah but now I'm no more scared of the pickup and I was so happy that we had this very wide road here from the from the store to to the farm I could re always relax from the maneuver, from the driving around at the um, at the store. This was always <gasps> so terrible. <laughs> I was so stressed, and then oh, okay, on my way home now it's better. Yeah, and here we have the modern grocery from Elm Creek. and more productions yeah so this was a yeah something like a town area before and now there are all those modern buildings from FS22 Oh, and there I, I see the, um, the hay loft. That is good. So maybe we first have a look at the cow barn. Yeah, huge meadow. Like we had in FS17. And the hay loft is very good. And the very expensive cow barn, very generous. Oh, and look the bunker silo. Oi, 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 oi. So this is more towards the uh, the cow barn, and so we have more place here. Before it was in the middle, but that was needed because we had to feed the cows here like here and now we go inside to feed them yeah and this is the grass and it looks harvest ready somehow it's really funny I'd like to play here at once. So, yeah, this is an old map. I already played on it and <laughs> yeah, and not everything was happy when I played here. It, I had a hard time, as I told you, with driving. But when I go around here, I'd like to start playing at once. And here yeah, and this is somehow always my main criterion whether I like a map or not when the map is calling me and this map calls me that doesn't mean that I will play on it right now I can resist <laughs> but the temptation um, but I will keep it in my mind and when I'm done with either Comland or the maps on my German channel and I'm searching for a new map, for a new Let's Play, maybe I play here. Because this really gives me the feeling that I want to start playing at once. And not every map does this. Sometimes even maps that are 
more perfect and more new or more whatsoever. Ah, and here we see the grass equipment that we have. That is good. Yeah. So we have a lot of what is needed here. We have the old Pöttinger. Um, and if we want to make silage bales, we would need a bale wrapper and a um, loading wagon for bales. Or a, how is it called? We have a bale loader. A bale loader we would need. But we can make our silage in this very, very huge bunker silo. And we have a tiny little loading wagon to fill all this huge bunker silo. Yeah, and how many cows fit in this barn? Because that's a, an important point from my point of view because the very expensive cow barns only keep 80 cows and you stay poor with this, especially when you paid half a million or 750,000 bucks. So let's check. 150 cows. Okay, that's not uh, enormous, but it's okay. Much better. So I think the others only have 80 cows. Yeah, and you could sell it if you want. Cows, sit him. Here, this is the basic one from the base game. It has 80 cows. And I think it's exactly the same like this one here. This has 150 cows and the same price. But, um, no, 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 no. Uh, this has much more meadow. And I love it. So for the cows, it's wonderful if they have a lot of place to roam around. But here, here have been um, a small road. I used it very often. And now it's a little bit narrow. But um, the cows have more place. Which is good for the cows. Yeah, do we want to see more? I think I saw the most important part for me. And I know that I like this version of Goldcrest Valley. And s yeah, I just keep it in mind. Maybe I will even play it in FS17 again. In the end of FS19, I played a while in FS15 that I didn't knew before, and I liked it a lot. I had such a lot of fun. And then I played very, very tiny, so only three episodes or so, on Goldcrest Valley in FS17 again, s for nostalgic reasons, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fun to play again on this map. And this is more... Yeah, like spring or summer has come to Goldcrest Valley. My feeling likes this maybe even a little bit more. Okay, now tell me, did you play on Goldcrest Valley in FS17? Did you like it? And do you like this version of Goldcrest Valley? I would be really interested to know both of both questions. And yeah, tell me what you like in this version of Goldcrest Valley or what you don't like. Because I'm always interested to learn for my own map building. Uh, I want to know what people like in maps and what people don't like in maps. Okay, 
Yes, I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.